I was truly obsessed with training and eating back in my early 20s. That's all I thought about, that's all I did. I resisted every temptation. I didn't drink, I had no social life, and I didn't care. It was all for trying to achieve my ultimate goal, to get buff as fuck. So I thought it would be a fun challenge to travel back in time and try my eating and workout routine I did when I was in my early 20s. Wake up at the same time, perform the same cardio, work out on the same program, and eat the same meals. What would seem like an everlasting agony for some turned out to be my ecstasy. Now it's time to see if I feel the same today or if I would do anything different. It is the morning and it's time to perform some morning steady state cardio. I would usually do this every morning for 45 minutes, but I would first make a protein shake, just some water, a scoop of protein, because I figured if I do cardio in a fastest state, that would kill all my gains. So I wanted to make sure to get some protein in real quick. But it's funny to look back on it. I mean, waking up in the morning, every morning to do cardio, it really set the standard and helped me build a habit because I've actually continued doing this. And I might not do it as religiously as I did back then, and I might do it for different reasons. Back then, I was really thinking that it would really help me lose weight, it would make me look better, but now I kind of use it more for meditation or planning out my day, helping me wake up. Regardless, I'm gonna be heading out into this nice cold winter air and getting this 45 minutes of cardio in. Ah, wish me luck. Whew, still fouling on from cardio, but I'm glad that's done. Now it's time for some breakfast. And I would always do four whole eggs with four pieces of toast with a bunch of peanut butter. My main goal was to hit a thousand calories in this meal. And I'll usually just track it in a notepad. And I didn't really understand macros or track macros at the time. Back then, it was all about the calories. One thing I do differently today is make sure I have variety in my diet, which back then consisted of eggs, chicken, bread, chicken, and more chicken. So much so that I ended up getting so sick of chicken, I couldn't eat it for quite a while. But since then, I've learned my lesson and have been adding variety in my eating. And what's really helped with that is using a company called ButcherBox for the past year. They offer you high quality meats at a great price and the convenience is unbeatable. You can customize your box with all sorts of different meats and cuts. I usually go for their wild caught salmon and cod, 100% grass fed top sirloin in New York strip, heritage breed pork chops, and yes, I also have chicken again, but this time it's free range USDA certified organic. They deliver right to your door and also give you the freedom of changing what you get in your monthly box, as well as the frequency of your deliveries. When I was younger, I made the mistake of getting the cheapest meats available, not realizing that quality matters. Thankfully, now that I'm older and a little wiser, I've changed that bad habit and found ButcherBox. They've made it easy to get quality meats at a great value, and the convenience of having it delivered to your door is amazing. Just like you don't wanna put bad food into your body, you wouldn't wanna put regular unleaded gasoline into a race car, you wanna fill it up with 100% high octane fuel to make sure that baby's performing at its best. So make sure you click our link in the description below. New members will get two New York Strip steaks plus a pack of free bacon in their first box. Plus, shipping is always free. Just finished breakfast, and now it's time for workout number one. I was on a morning and evening split. Monday mornings, I would perform chest and back together. Monday evenings, I would perform legs. Tuesday morning, I would perform shoulders and biceps and triceps and forearms. And then Tuesday evening, I would hit calves and abs. And I would repeat that, so that way I'm working the full body twice a week. You might be asking yourself, why did you do that? Well, I read that it was Arnold's competitive bodybuilding split. So if it worked for him, I figured it'd work for me. Why did I do the things I did? Well, there wasn't much info on the internet and YouTube didn't exist back in my early 20s. So the only information I had was from watching Pumping Iron and also reading a book called Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. A book from, you guessed it, Arnold. It mostly contained Arnold's old bodybuilding splits, meal plans spread out in seven small meals, and a bunch of pictures with a bunch of buff dudes from the 70s and 80s doing cool ass exercises. I mean, it was awesome. It seemed pretty simple to me. Follow what they did. Work out like crazy, eat like crazy, and get crazy buff. And I followed it to a T. First workout is done of the day. Now it's time to have my first protein shake of the day, which was more like a meal replacement. It was a weight gainer shake called Enlarge 2 that I had all the time. It came in this 10 pound bucket. It was strawberry flavored, which tasted like powdered Captain Crunch berries. 
And with a serving size of four rounded scoops, which equaled 600 calories, six grams of fat, 86 grams of carbohydrates, and 52 grams of protein, not even to mention the milk, which all came to a grand total of 780 calories, it was like the nectar of the god of gains. And it was exactly what I needed to put on the pounds at that point. Now, I don't have that, but I can make a homemade version. Just two cups of milk, two scoops of protein, and one cup of instant oatmeal, which comes out to around 810 calories, 101 carbohydrates, 10 grams fat, and 80 grams of protein. And after that workout, I feel like I need this shit. Every time I ate, I imagined the food unleashing its magical forces of growth into my muscles. I would viciously tear down my muscle fibers in the gym and then graciously give them the sweet nourishment they so badly needed to rebuild themselves bigger and better than ever before. Okay, that might sound a little dramatic, but that's the kind of mentality that made me continue to train and eat the way I did. It made it exciting, motivating, and drove me to keep pushing farther. It was something I didn't quite understand at the time, but that type of mindset can be extremely powerful. In a lot of ways, I'm happy I didn't grow up with a major influence of the internet with mounts of people saying one thing or another, bro splits suck, seven meals a day isn't necessary, cardio doesn't work, your body can only absorb 30 grams of protein per meal. I didn't realize there were different ways of training or possibly better ways of getting my calories and macros in. In this way, ignorance was bliss for me. I put my head down and I got it done day after day and was totally in love with the process. It's lunchtime already and I'm gonna be having what I usually had for lunch back then. It was pretty simple, much like breakfast. It was just a bunch of chicken, which I think equaled about the same as a large chicken breast, two cups of white rice, one cup of cottage cheese, and that's it. Back then, I didn't have a lot of greens. Today, I do. Back then, I was really just eating stuff for their calorie content. I was just making sure I was eating enough to get those calories. And greens didn't have calories, or at least that much, so I didn't eat it. I didn't have a food scale, and there wasn't a calorie or macro tracking app at the time, so I pretty much just looked up the calories online and guessed the amounts I was having. A chicken breast was 300 calories, a big steak was around 600 calories, and a cup of white rice was around 200 calories. And even then, I didn't measure anything out. My main focus was trying to hit around 1,000 calories per major meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and have three mass gainer protein shakes totaling around 5,000 calories a day. Instead of getting caught up in calculating my exact calories and macros, it came down to how I felt, performed in the gym, and looked in the mirror. Now this is a major difference between then and now. Whenever I want to get better results, I start weighing my food and tracking my calories and macros. This has helped me refine what works, get rid of what didn't, and shows me what I need to change in order to get better results. Now, although I didn't track things back then as exactly as I do now, it was still that consistency and determination that led me to seeing those results. On my way to hit my second workout now, which is gonna be legs, and this is when I would have my second mass gainer shake. I would usually drink it on the way to the gym so I'd have enough energy and feel pumped in my workout. This is definitely a walk down the Salsa Street for me. This is the exact gym I went to every morning and evening for years. Uh, baby, I'm home. <laughs> Second workout is done, and I really focused on pyramiding schemes and short rest times between sets. But of course, after the workout, I performed my 45 minutes of steady state cardio on the treadmill. And now, it's time for the last weight gainer shake of the day. And Wow, I had a lot of shakes back then. That's something that's definitely changed now. I don't nearly have this much protein shakes, but back then it really helped me get in all those calories and uh, get me through those workouts. So here we go. It's the last meal of the day and it's gonna be steak and potatoes. This is a lot of food. Now I see why I weigh 240, 245 pounds. And the consistency of eating like this really goes to show you that it works. So I'm just having a big steak, some potatoes, and that's it for my food, which I'm kind of happy about because having three huge shakes and now the third huge meal today equaling over 5,000 calories, it's starting to weigh on me. So out of curiosity, I've actually been tracking all my meals just to see how many calories, but also macronutrients I'm having throughout the whole day. And it looks like for this meal, I'm having 966 calories, 
80 grams carbohydrates, 40 grams fat, and 73 grams of protein. But all in all, my whole day, I had 5,504 calories. That's quite a bit. So the macro split is, let's see, I had 578 grams of carbohydrates, 141 grams of fat, and 493 grams of protein. That's a lot, and honestly, that macro split's Pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised. I had that intuition, even at 20 years old, baby. <laughs> I, I knew what was up. But I still got this. This is my last meal of the day, and I'm excited because this is a lot of food, and I'm, I'm actually kind of proud that I got this much in because I haven't ate this much since, well, my 20s. So, <sighs> cheers. Wow, this has been quite the nostalgia trip, and it really reminds me why I fell in love with the gym. I hope this small glimpse into my past has brought you some insight into what it took me to get the body I have today. But this is a journey that never ends, so you'll constantly have to find a way to get motivated, push harder, and reinvent yourself. And remember, you are unique and you need to find what works best for you and what will help you fall in love with the process. Now, I just want to say a huge thanks to ButcherBox for making this video happen. Me and my girlfriend Michaela have been using them for quite some time now and we couldn't be happier. So make sure you click our link in the description below. New members will get two New York strip steaks plus a pack of free bacon in their first box. Plus shipping is always free. So as always, stay safe and stay buff. Yeah. Good night.